What's your best childhood memory? Why? Growing up I didn't realize how poor we were. My parents were amazing at providing for us. We loved watching baseball games and I wanted to go to a game so bad. We never could afford it. To make up for it. While we were at school. My mom made up tickets to that night's game and money for us to spend. When we got home she had set up chairs in front of the TV and numbered them. Gave us the tickets and money and told us to go clean up before the game. Come game time we lined up at the doorway. My dad took our tickets and told us how to get to our seats. After the game started my parents went to the kitchen and had a tray of hot dogs. Candy and soda. Hot dogs. Get your hot dogs. We got out the money my mom made and bought whatever snacks we wanted. Best baseball game I've ever been to. Edit. Spelling. Edit 2. I'll dedicate the gold to my parents and spread the love. Family vacation to Colorado to ski. They piled all the grandkids, me and 7 of my cousins, in the back of the van and removed the bench seats. Replaced them with air mattresses. They hooked up a TV and VHS player and we all watched the original Scream movie while eating road trip snacks and annoying the life out of our grandparents. We stopped the moment we got to where there was snow to have a giant family snowball fight. We took pictures the whole ride on disposable cameras. I think my older cousins mooned a few unsuspecting strangers. 18 hours there and 18 hours back and the ride was just as good as the actual vacation. My parents house had a huge prairie field beyond its backyard. There was a lot of wildlife. Giant ponds. And tiny forests scattered throughout a giant plain. As an introverted child I remember going on so many adventures here until the sun came down. One particular moment that sticks with me was sitting on my fence. Overlooking the fields watching the sun set with my dog after a long day of playing. It's not a particularly eventful moment but I remember thinking that moment was perfect. As a kid that grew up reading Calvin and Hobbes. I feel so fortunate I got to grow up in the area I did. It was like I was living the life of my favorite comic. Let's go exploring. Having lunch and getting ice cream with my mum and dad when I was 9 in London. My school had organized a school trip and gave me special permission to see my dad instead of going to the science museum. We rejoined them later to go see cats. Dad works away from home, back then. We didn't see him often. Maybe a couple times a month if we were lucky. We all got lunch. In near Portobello Road and then went to get the ice creams. My dad got a particularly huge one, to my mind. It was like 7 scoops, everything seems massive when you're a kid, and it all fell onto his tie. We laughed. Talked about music and their lives in London before marriage kids. We walked down the street. Holding hands. In the middle. I know it's such a non-event memory. I'm the youngest of three and this was the first. And possibly last time. I spent alone time with my parents. Just as three. Like I was their only kid. It made me feel special. I cherish this memory so much. There are many. But just last night my husband said something that unlocked this one. My dad was, still is, an avid birder. He would teach me little things about birds and how to identify them by sight and call. We had a little ritual every night after dinner we would walk outside in the darkness. All the way to the barn and back. Hooting like owls to try and get the owls to hoot back at us. Sometimes it worked. Most of the time it didn't. But every time I got to spend moments with my dad that still make me so happy to think about today. My stepfather designed theatre sets and installed a jungle design in my room. Kinda sad. But before my brother committed suicide. He and I spent a whole day playing with Lego and building cool things. It really impacted me positively. I was about 9 at the time. Edit. When I first figured out how to play drums. It was such a stereotypical movie moment. But I used to always play on an electric kit. Not very well. But as soon as I sat behind an actual kit. Something clicked in my brain and my hands could move like they hadn't before. If that moment hadn't happened. I don't think I'd be where I am today. 
There was one day in the summer of 2003 when me and all the neighborhood kids just hung around outside. We flew kites. Played sports. Got ice cream from a truck. Etc. We spent the whole day outside doing fun stuff. I remember going to bed thinking that it was a perfect day. I still think about it sometimes. Not F King thinking about tomorrow. Just woke up. Hooked up with friends. Spent all day playing stupid games. Laughing. Fighting. Discovering. Nowadays if I have half a day to myself I think about how I can use it to do something work related so that I can take it easier on the working days. I got many. But one of my favorites is when my mother got my brother and I out of school early to go to Dairy Queen for an ice cream cone. Watching my stepdad call the principal of my school in 4th grade out on his bullshit right in front of me. Because it was the first time I had a father figure in my life who cared enough about me to stand up for me. Being a farm kid. Sitting behind my older sister on a horse. Ambling around our yard in the dark. Looking up at the stars while my sister sang with the softest most beautiful voice I've ever heard. I fell asleep leaning on her back as she sang. Epilogue. The next day at school I tried to eat a stick of chalk to make my voice softer like my sister's. It was a terrible failure. I can't remember and it's concerning me. Probably when I was still on that phase where I was oblivious to the world's or even family problems. We used to be on food stamps and my parents would get us these TV banners from a neighbor and I loved them and thought they were the best. My mom never made us feel like we were missing out and it helped me also become grateful for everything in life. I was in 7th grade. My childhood crush kissing me for the first time, and last, we then went out and spent the entire day roaming around our neighborhood and held hands at sunset. We recently met again after 19 years. We've grown up different now. But that memory is still the happiest one I have. I used to wake up some days to my dad playing wish you were here on the guitar downstairs and making breakfast. If this ever happened I knew it was gonna be a good day. It's been a long time since I've heard him play that song though. I would do anything to wake up to it one more time. 8th grader Amanda. My first hard crush. Telling 5th grade me that I was cute on the school bus. I don't know if I've ever been quite that happy again in the entire rest of my life. Don't tell my wife and kids I said that. When my dad took me to see snakes on a plane as a kid. I'll never forget that snake that bit that laid his titties. Thanks dad. Just one day waking up to the sound of a busy household was my best day. It wasn't any particularly different day. But that one morning has been stuck in my memory for as long as I could remember while growing up. Father is cooking. Mother is talking to her sisters. Siblings are playing games. Edit. Summers spent at the lake, water skiing, swimming, fishing, and enjoying fresh fruit and vegetables from local farms. When Star Wars Episode 3 came put on DVD, I remember me and my brother waiting all day by the door for it to be posted and when it finally came we were jumping around the room. We couldn't wait for our dad to come home from work to set up the portable DVD player to our TV so me and my brothers led on the floor around this tiny screen watching it. Best memory ever. I came home from school early, half day, and both of my parents had come home from work early. They were cooking delicious food and my dad had caught me a praying mantis for my insect kit. It was a very good day. Me and my middle school best friend loved hanging out in the same room and playing WoW. We didn't have a car obviously so we would have to walk 2 miles to meet. He would be pushing his computer rig on his skateboard. We would eventually make it to my house. At 4 years old my mom pulling me around in the snow on a sled. Helping my dad fix things around the house. I always loved tools and fixing things. And it was so satisfying when we got a job done. My mam reading us The Hobbit. A chapter each night. We were always so excited for the next chapter. I re-read it but it's not the same when you read it in a day compared to having it span weeks. 
It made it seem like a much longer adventure. We went to a goat farm and I bought some corn and the goats were so gentle and friendly. Even though they were excited they didn't bite and only licked it off my hand. It tickled and was very sticky but they were so cute. It is a good memory because it's one of the only ones that feels so misplaced oh so I don't remember when and where this occurred but it for sure was a surprise that my parents took me there. Me and my brother sitting inside on a cool summer day with the windows open. The smell of freshly cut grass in our noses. Our parents would be doing yard work out in our rather large yard. My older brother would play Mario and all sorts of Lego games on the Wii and I would just watch because 1. He rarely let me play. And 2. I was terrible at all of the games. But it grew on me. I came to enjoy not playing. I sat there watching. He sat there playing. For hours on end. We would eat popsicles like nobody's business. Tall glasses of lemonade would go down like rocks. And we loved it. But as time went on. We sold the house. We lost interest in the Wii. And our parents got divorced. Just being a child. Everything seemed like magic. Every adult was so kind. My parents were still young and healthy. I'd see members of my family so often. Each day seemed to last forever. Everything was free and it was enough. I need a hug. I don't have many. But I will always remember the first time I got to see my grandmother again after my mother took us away from her for 572 days. My parents made my life hell. But the best saddest thing to ever happen to me was my great grandma K dying and wishing that my mother would get over her childishness so I could see my grandmother. Those two years without her were the worst years of my life. I was abused. Bullied. Unloved. And depressed. But when the 11th of September 2009 came and I got to run into my grandmother's arms for the first time in year it was magical. I still suffer from depression and I want to give up every day. But having the one person that has loved me unconditionally in my life again for the past almost 10 years has helped me have a little smidge of hope. It is going to sound rather simple. But when I was very young. My parents worked very hard and only had one day off. On good days. After doing what they needed to do around the apartment. We'd go to a local park for a picnic. Sandwiches and such. But. My parents would have a radio cassette player. And I remember how they'd laugh and play with me. And at the end of the afternoon. They'd buy me something from the good humor truck. I do have other great memories that might be more interesting for the best category. But this was the first one that came to mind. Nothing fancy. I realize. And probably not what the OP means about best childhood memory. But it was fun. We were together. I felt safe in something like sandwiches and ice cream. Comma in that beautiful outdoor setting away from our very small apartment and seeing my parents so happy and so connected with me and each other was just the best. 4th of July. 2007. I was 12 years old. My grandparents hosted an annual barbecue at their house with all the aunts. Uncles. And cousins. All my cousins. My siblings. And I would all play capture the flag every year. It was always so much fun. And it was something I looked forward to. There was good food. Cold pop. Popsicles. And some epic games of capture the flag. Just an all around good time. That was the last year my cousins and I played capture the flag. One of my cousins got into a snowmobile accident the following winter and died. He was only 15. We still had the barbecue. But us kids never played capture the flag again. Edit. I'll start. My best childhood memory was when my best friend and I went to 7-11 and got slushies and played Spider-Man on his PlayStation 1 and eating beef jerky. These are all so nice to read. Being in my grandmother's 4 feet pool when I was 3. I was wearing one of those foam swim suits. Not sure why but I remember being delighted by floating up and down on the waves. Sitting in the back of my grandparents car eating a honey turkey sandwich they brought me. I felt like I owned the world. Playing video games on the NES with my siblings. 
my parents didn't let me have a dog. One day coming home from school I found a puppy on the side of the road all alone and scared. I took him home and my parents let me keep him. I never felt so happy taking care of him. That day was magical and the 8 years we spent together afterwards made my childhood special. Having water fights in my neighbor's backyard when it was pouring so hard we didn't even need to go swimming. We dumped water that collected in puddles on the driveway all over each other and used water guns to have water fights. I don't have a reason why I chose this memory. When I was about first grade. I had no friends whatsoever but two fourth graders from my school bus befriended me and I always hung out with them ever since. Falling asleep in my dad's arms while he was dancing with my mom in the living room. They separated a few months later and my childhood turned into an endless stream of neglect and psychological abuse. I still treasure that memory. The last time my parents were together celebrating my birthday together with me. Dad died of cancer before my 8th birthday. Was too young to know what was cancer back then. My birthdays have never been the same since then. My brother is a decade older than me, I'm the youngest of 4 kids, and he went to university when I was very young still. He was a wonderful big brother and we were very close so I missed him terribly. I remember one birthday I was playing in the garden with my friend and my mum kept telling me to come inside and I kept putting it off because we were having fun. So I finally stomp in and there is my brother sitting at the kitchen table and I don't think I have ever been so surprised or so happy in my life before or since. It was totally amazing. My grandparents had a place on a pond in the outskirts of the Adirondacks. We'd hit that place up countless times in the summer. And a few times in the winter. Swimming. Exploring. Fishing. Hiking. Mini golf and ice cream nearby. Great dinners. An old fashioned bowling machine and the polo. Never a bad memory of that place. My first rock concert. I was probably 14 and it changed the course of my life. From then on I've been pursuing music. I've never been covered in so many chills as that night. Edit for spelling. It was my birthday and my parents said my gift was on their bed. It was a full size millennium falcon with the top that opened and had the secret compartment and all of the best things. I loved it. It was the best gift I've ever received. I believe I was about 8 and I still think about that moment. My dad saved my life. We were swimming in the Muskegon river and I swam out too far and the current grabbed me. My dad swam out and grabbed me. My grandpa used to have a beach house on the sand on Stenson Beach. Coincidentally it was right in front of a mid-beach riptide. We had just gotten to the house. Hadn't even gotten to change. And from the deck my dad sees this kid getting way. Way too far out. Nobody seemed to notice. Maybe nobody could see him. But my dad did. He just booked it down the beach. Slacks. Shirt. Tie. Pager all still on. And swam out to rescue him. Dad doesn't even remember it. But that's the proudest moment I have of him. The family was in the backyard barbecuing and this brown skinned guy shows up at our gate. My dad who was a shady guy was talking quiet with him after a while he opens the gate and tells me and my little sister this is your uncle Jay the dude was wearing some styling duds. It was 1972-73 I am pretty sure he was wearing leather pants. I couldn't think of anything but the biggest I am talking huge slot car track and stuffed street. Bernard he had in his arms. Baddest I got the slot car track that took up our whole basement. My sister got a huge stuffed Saint Bernard with a big rum keg around its neck full of silver dollars. And the next day I was watching the Lone Ranger and my mom tells me that's the guy that gave you the racetrack. It was Jay Silverheels A. K. A tonto I wish they would have told me that when he was still there. I never saw him again. I grew up in the countryside of North Carolina. Our neighborhood was close to a small lake and some abandoned cabins. So my friends and I would ride our bikes or walk over there and do our homework after school. Play games. Talk about girls or sports. And go skinny dipping all day in summer. It's the smallest things if I think about it now. But I just miss being an innocent. 
Shameless kid. Things were much simpler back then. Especially we had to find ways to have fun since smartphone didn't exist.